In this video, we will discuss recombinant tissue plasminogen activator. These drugs break the thrombus and are used in acute ischemic stroke, myocardial infarction and pulmonary embolism. So what are recombinant tissue plasminogen activators? Plasminogen is a naturally occurring protein enzyme protease produced by vascular endothelium circulates in the plasma or attached with fibrin clot in a thrombus. So plasminogen is a protein protease produced by vascular endothelium and occurs in circulation and also in a thrombus. What's the function of plasminogen? Plasminogen is an inactive form of plasmin. And what's plasmin? Plasmin breaks and dissolves the thrombus. Commercially made plasmin is known as recombinant tissue plasminogen activator RTPA that breaks the thrombus and dissolves it. Plasminogen gene activator may be tissue specific or non-specific. Tissue specific recombinant tissue plasminogen activator is more active against the plasminogen that is trapped in a thrombus in between the fibrin meshwork whereas non-specific tissue plasminogen activators act on plasminogen in the circulation and thrombus both because plasminogen is found in both circulation and thrombus. How does RTPA act? RTPA converts plasminogen into plasmin. Plasmin then breaks down the cross links between the peptide bonds in between the clotted fibrin meshwork and dissolves it. What's plasmin inhibitor? Alpha 2 antiplasmin, an inhibitor of plasmin, quickly inactivates it and restricts the action of plasmin to the vicinity of the clot. What are the indications for the use of tissue plasminogen activator? Acute ischemic stroke, myocardial function and pulmonary embolism. It may also be used for thrombolysis in deep vein thrombosis and for catheter clearance. It is administered directly into the catheter. What are the contraindications for tissue plasminogen activator use? Blood pressure more than 185 by 110, a stroke or head injury in the past three months, GI bleeding in the last three weeks. So a stroke or head injury in the last three months or GI bleeding in the last three Week, recent major surgery, bleeding disorders, recent MI, coma or stupor and patient on fibrinolytic drug, laboratory abnormalities, prolonged partial thromboplastic time or increased in international normalized ratio INR, platelet count less than 100,000, hematocrit less than 25% or a syrup glucose less than 50 or more than 400 milligram per 100 ml. What's the best time? to use TPA within three hours after the onset of symptoms. What are the properties of different plasminogen activator? Different plasminogen activators are altiplase, retiplase, tenecteplase, streptokinase and urokinase. Altiplase is approved for the management of acute ischemic stroke, myocardial infarction with ST elevation, STMI or acute massive pulmonary embolism. Retiplase is a faster action onset and longer duration of action and a longer half-life which allows it to be given as a bolus injection. A streptokinase comes from group C beta hemolytic streptococci. Since streptokinase is a foreign protein, it may cause anaphylaxis, fever, and rash. Streptokinase does not act if a patient has a recent history of streptococcal infection. What's the source of urokinase? Human fetal kidney cells. Which thrombolytic agent is clot specific? Altiplase is clot specific and clot specific means that it acts on the plasminogen in a thrombus. Altiplase has a half-life of 5 minutes whereas anastriplase have a half-life of 90 minutes. Now dosage of recombinant tissue plasminogen activators. Number one, two peripheral IV lines should be maintained. Dose is 0.9 milligram 
per kg and is given by IV infusion. And what's the maximum dose? Maximum dose is 90 milligram. 10% is given as IV bolus and remaining 90% is given as IV infusion in one hour. So the dose is 0.9 mg per kg with a maximum dose of 90 mg. 10% is given as IV bolus and 90% as IV infusion in one hour time. Avoid urethral catheterization for two hours when these drugs are used. What are tissue plasminogen activator antidotes? The antidotes are amino caproic acid and tranexamic acid. Which other substances act against RTPA other than amino caproic acid and transactamic acid they are clotting factors activated 10a and activated 12a and calicarin they inhibit the conversion of plasminogen to plasmin what are plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 the plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 is produced by vascular endothelium like plasminogen and increased concentration of plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 cause thrombophilia. So what thrombophilia causes? It causes serious thrombosis. Whereas the deficiency of plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 is characterized by abnormal bleeding. It is also produced by hepatoma and fibrosarcoma.